Good morning, everybody. Welcome to the latest edition of the Pink and Match Day vlog. You join me on Friday morning in a new location. This is, uh, this is not Master Marshes, uh, but it is uh, the start of what is going to be a pretty busy weekend, I think. A trip to Plymouth, longest of the season for Norwich City for us as well, which is why this is being recorded on the, on Friday morning, quite early on Friday morning. We've got, um, just to give you a rough timetable of events, um, we've got a I do we're going to pretty much press conference at half past ten this morning um, and then we're hoping to to get away soon after we're staying in the round sort of Yeovil area um, and that leaves about an hour and 50 I think tomorrow morning so it's a mega trip and then on a Saturday night we're going to be doing the whole thing in uh, in one stint so it's going to be a test of endurance obviously for Norwich City it feels now like an important game because if they get beat it's uh, what three defeats in four and be interesting to see if the narrative changes and whatnot. That on my head is a funny story. I uh, was playing with my three-year-old in the garden and <laughs> ran into a washing line. So that's, that's good fun. Um, hopefully we can avoid any similar disasters this weekend. So yeah, follow us along, uh, follow us around, sorry. It's very early. Uh, see what we get up to. And uh, yeah, if you enjoy this and you want to see more, then let us know. If you wanted cow watch, look at that. That's a whopper. You know better than anybody, that's a very tough place. You've made it look easy. Now on the way to our temporary base in Somerset, I believe it's gonna take the thick end of six hours to get there. So I'm looking forward to that one. We've just been to David Wagner's press conference, head of the game, where he gave updates on Ashley Barnes, um, Plymouth, what he's expecting and, and lots of injury news. I'm gonna bring in Adam Harvey now to see what he made of that press conference. I think two months-ish out for Ashley Barnes. What did you make of that? Yeah, probably to be expected, but we keep saying it, it's Adam Eder's chance. And I think now it definitely is, you know, two, two of your main strikers out for, well, pushing, you know, November time, Christmas time. So it's um, it's obviously good they brought in Wang, so at least they've got a, a reserve option there. You know, yet to really see any sort of tangible evidence of, of him on the pitch. So it's difficult to make a judgment, but yeah, I mean, Adam Eder's got to step up to the mark now because if he doesn't it's going to cost Norwich he obviously were a free-flowing goal scoring side early on in the season and the goals have maybe dried up a little bit recently um, so hopefully tomorrow they can uh, you know get back on back on the right track and hopefully get three points at Plymouth. How excited are you personally for this journey? Journey no. Um, <laughs> when we get to the hotel for some food and maybe well be cider on it in that next week. Um, <laughs> That, yes, and the game, yes, <laughs> yeah. um, and sleep, yes, but uh, <laughs> the actual travel element, no, I, I will be quite glad that, uh, to see the back of it, although at least it's in September and we're not doing this trip, you know, on like a Tuesday night in January, because I think that would be even more bleak. And we've kicked things off with a, a lunch at the uh, the office canteen, hot dog with, uh, what was it, pulled pork, with yeah. it? and you had some onions on it as well as well as a, a lime and coconut muffin. What did you make of that? Good way to start. Yeah, well, I got absolutely sold by the woman. Um, <laughs> she was doing a deal, two two cakes for two quid. Um, Fantastic. Man. I really don't need to, but I was thinking, you know, later on, uh, depending on what the budget stretched, you know, I might need a dessert. So if, uh, if it doesn't stretch that far, then at least I've got an option. So uh, yeah, it, it, was, it was nice, you know, solid bite. I said to you, it was a seven, eight out of 10, very Kenny McLean-esque, you know, solid performance <laughs> week in, week out. But, yeah. um, Still room for improvement every now and again. Solid week in, week out is correct. So I'm going to leave you now while Connor and Paddy are in the front. They've both promised me they're going to tell me about the muffins later on. So um, stay tuned for that. British Gas is being investigated for sending marketing emails to come. Free trial. Auto renews at six ninety nine a month after trial. And is cancelled. Yeah, just a bunch of rubs. Yeah, that on video. yeah, I did. There we go, seven hours on the road, um, which was pretty gruelling, to be honest. But we've uh, arrived here in our base in Chard, I think this is, Chard, Chard, one of those, in and around Yeovil. Um, and uh, this is where we're staying for the evening. It's a very nice uh, hotel, quite quite cosy, I think is the word I would uh, use to describe it. But uh, yeah, I'm, I'm glad we uh, absorbed a lot of that. We had quite a bit of traffic uh, in and around the M4, M25, M4 area. Um, <clears throat> so that wasn't necessarily ideal, but look, it's a Friday. You're gonna get that, that rush hour. It's always busy on the road. So uh, yeah, I think we left at about 10 to one and we arrived at about half past eight. So that give, with, with probably about a 
20 minute stop in, in the middle of uh, South Mim services. So that gives you an indication of just how long it's taken. Uh, I'm going to uh, chill out, get ready for bed, and uh, I will see you again in the morning when it will be match day. And we've still got about an hour and 40 worth of traveling to do. So it's a long trip, this, very long, but I'm, uh, I'm looking forward to my first ever trip to Home Park tomorrow. Good morning, everybody. Uh, a bit more energy in life about me this morning compared to this evening. You join me in my uh, in my hotel room here in Chard. It's uh, the morning of the day. It's match day. Uh, we've just been down to uh, have breakfast, and we are in a resplendent little uh, little place. As I get up from my from my chair, uh, I'll just try and show you some of the some of the outside. There's a lot of cars, so just bear that in mind. But um, we, we're basically staying in what is a very very nice mill. Uh, and that gives you an indication of some of the scenery. So it's it's a very, been a very nice place to stay. It's a very nice part of the world, this. And uh, first league meeting between Norwich and Plymouth since 2009, I think it is today. Really looking forward to visiting Home Park for the uh, for the first time. But goodness me, it's a long way away. Um, and I'm really intrigued to see what David Wagner does team-wise because I think... Um, I guess it all centres around the strikers, right? There's a lot, been a lot of pressure put on Adam Ida. I wrote my column on him this morning for all of the kind of um, scrutiny that he gets. He's still only had 14 starts as a as a Norwich City striker, which is really, really interesting. Does he go with Huang? Does he do what maybe I feel he will do and try and shore up that middle by putting Forshaw in and, and then unleashing Gabriel Sarah in a bit more of an advanced position? I think then you still get the forward front frontedness of the, the press and obviously he, he brings a, a real attacking quality with him as well I could see that being a viable possibility we'll find out very shortly the time is uh, about nine o'clock on Saturday morning and um, we're going to wait till about 10 o'clock check out and then uh, make the final leg of the journey to home park which is about an hour and 40 from from where we are so still a, a little bit of traveling to do but um, it's uh, it's been good so far um, Follow us along today and uh, yeah, hopefully another good away day for Norwich City. Here is the location as we make our final way to Plymouth now. We've got about an hour and 50 to go on the road. Um, and it's a beautiful morning, as you can see, blue skies all around. One last uh, slog up the road. Here we are, home park eventually got into the car park which was a little bit of a process but we're there and this is uh, the ground it's uh, been a long old way there we go there's a little bit of a hike to get up here but this is the uh, the view from the press box at home park the away fans will be situated just there and then you've got the tunnel there we've come from basically down there it was uh, unique, Paddy, in all your years. Have you, had press, oh, have you had a press box experience like that, getting to one? I've never been chaperoned to one. No, I've chaperoned out of one maybe one or two times. <laughs> you get down to me on Instagram, but uh, no, hugely friendly with Mr. Gorham. Yeah. Come along here now. I'll give way to the camera. There we go. That's how early we are. If we, get here if we yeah, if we get here before them, you know, we're uh, we, we're super early. So no, nice and uh, nice and smooth trip and uh, just catching our breath at the top of home park and as someone who's uh, not particularly fond of heights this is just about acceptable uh, level i can just about do this sand not too steep lovely stuff and uh, we await the action in a couple of hours or so i think it's what's the time now Adam? it is quarter past 12. quarter yeah. past 12 blimey we could have a football game in the time before, could, it, before yeah. it kicks There's off a football going on outside so we can there is that. yeah there is There's some penalties being taken so we can always go and do that uh, but yeah, I've not been to Home Park before and it's uh, a lot of bad little ground. When in Devon, proper Cornish pasty. Let's, uh, let's have a, let me sit down. Let's have a, let's un unpack this together. There we go. Now the taste test. Mm. Mm. Nice and I'm feeling good. I think we'll win. Uh, obviously, lost against Leicester this week, but you know we we got some players out injured, but. 
Plymouth are not as good and I think we'll pull through today. Hart says 3-1 Norwich and Adam Eda hat trick but well, that's probably the Copperberg talking. I think Fashnat might get a goal as well. They're all playing really well at the minute so yeah those three are my goal scorers yeah. for today. <laughs> it's going to get a lot tougher and as a result yeah, I would be delighted if Norwich were in the top six by the time we get to Cross Sergeant back fit and available because then you feel they could really recapture the essence of these opening weeks with those two players available and they could go on and have a very strong second half of the season and hopefully take that to where they want to go as a club. But uh, right here right now and today might be, more, might be more evidence of that. It feels like it's going to be a bit of a holding pattern for the foreseeable of it. Two changes to the team, Wang and Ida in for Barnes and Liam Gibbs, a front two. There's the uh, Norwich fans behind me, great voice in the round there. The City Elite in their drum, they've got uh, sang songs for Shane Duffy and John Rowe. And if I spin you around, down there are the Norwich City players on the pitch. Barley Momba starts for Plymouth Argyle as expected, uh, great to see him. Uh, flourishing at championship level and uh, it's giving you to see quite what role he's in. I think there's a bit at the moment of a split between whether Plymouth are playing with a, a back three and wing backs or uh, in the 4 3 3 that they've kind of played throughout this season, so uh, that remains to be seen. Let's give you one more shot of those uh, Norwich City supporters there. 1600, some effort. Uh, a lot of them will have got up this morning very early to get on a half past five coach, I mean, so. That's, uh, that's some effort. We saw them pulling into the ground just before one. So, uh, yeah, to be under no, no illusion as to uh, the extent that they've gone to to be here this afternoon. Fantastic commitment. And there are my uh, esteemed colleagues working very hard. Got about 20 minutes still kick off. here at uh, Home Park, Norwich City find themselves 4-0 down to Plymouth. It's been about as hard a about as bad a half of football from Norwich City as I've seen, to be completely honest. And I've seen some bad ones over the last two years or so. Just amateurish goals, comprehensively battered in every single aspect of that performance. Um, defensively all at sea. After the first 15 minutes, it was quite a bright start from Norwich actually. And from there, it just... It, switch off in all in all areas in all departments and it, it's been a complete capitulation 4-0 down at half time not good enough for this Norwich City team um, a, a team of supposedly meant to reinforce their mentality meant to insulate the group of experienced players to produce a performance like that is unacceptable completely unacceptable and those 1600 Norwich City fans, some of whom have paid for a ticket and a coach, that would have cost £92. They got, they had to leave Norwich at half past five this morning, some of them. So then, have that performance thrown up is, uh, is sickening really for them and they were well within their rights as the players trudged off the tunnel just to the right to um, to tell the players exactly what they thought of that performance and they did. It's, uh, it's going to need quite the response from here but to be honest it feels like damaging uh, damage limitation ensuring that this is now a result that does not become too bad and uh, does not become even worse than, than 4-0. It has been woeful, woeful. Uh, I can't use swear words on this otherwise I, I would be able to describe it more accurately but 
just a just a complete embarrassment for everyone involved in Norwich City that that first half. Credit to Plymouth, they were excellent. They uh, attacked and scored at will and uh, showed so much more fight and endeavour and determination. Fully deserving of their lead. But if you're uh, if you're from a Norwich perspective, you just simply cannot put in a performance like that. It's just not good enough. And a big second half and a big response needed now. Absolute joke, to be honest. I don't think you can take much positives from it, to be honest. Yeah. They're not robots. They cannot win everything. Yeah. That was ridiculous. Six goals at Plymouth is ridiculous. Wow. Uh, yeah, sadly, pretty awful, <laughs> not really. What I was yeah, not what I was planning. No, I, I thought I thought Plymouth would come out early. Yeah. But uh, yeah, that was um, defensively a shambles, sadly. Finally home. What a remarkably long weekend. Time for bed. Thank you very much for watching the vlog. Um, yeah, not a good weekend for Norwich City. Gonna be all about the response from here. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you again very soon.